everyone! How's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great! So today I'm going to be working on my Pick a Stick Artist Trading Card Challenge. Um, this is a Facebook group uh, and it's also on YouTube where they give you three steps that you have to follow in order. Um, but they also give you a wild card if you're not crazy about a step you can switch it out. And there's also a color suggestion. You don't have to use that color so it's suggested. So, I will link down in the description the Facebook group if you're interested in going and seeing what it's all about. So, today, let us get started. Um, I have my cards. They're two and a half inches by three inches. Three and a half by two and a half inches. And the first step is to crush. But before I do that, I've got a piece of just parchment paper here. And this is cheap parchment paper from uh, the Dollar Tree. So it's very thin. It's not like the Reynolds one, you know. That one's, those are pretty, uh, pretty um, solid, you know. Alright, so what I want to do is I've got some black ink here and I've got some stamps and this is my um, grid stamp and I'm just going to stamp willy-nilly on this paper. I don't, I'm not really bothered with um, the placement of it or anything like that for right now. I just want to get some details on the back of the paper. I think I'm also going to use this stamp. It's, uh, I think it's called Dream. But I'm not sure who made it. Um, does it say? Stampendous makes it. So if you're interested in that. Again, I'm just going to stamp down. And then I think I'll do polka dots. And I think that's all I'm going to do on this for right now. And I'm just using my color block box black ink on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do step one, which is crush. I know many will think that's cripple crimple, but I crushed it. Urgh. I crushed it with my bands. <laughs> I have ink all over me. Ugh. Okay, so that is done. So now what I want to do is I want to get my card. Where did I lay it? There it is. One card anyway. I am using two today. And I'm just going to just rip this. using my matte medium to put this onto the page. Okay. Now, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. Move that out of the way. Okay, now on the other piece of paper that I have, or other piece of watercolor paper that I used, 
110 pound or 140 pound and um, I think I'm gonna use I know I'm gonna use my platform here my Tim Holtz platform um, what I want to do is I've got this stamp it's um, it says if nothing ever changed there would be no butterflies and I want that pretty much in the middle I want it centered on this little my other ATC right All right. and I'm gonna just take my color box again um, actually, I think I'm going to take um, my VersaFine, which should be right here. Oh my goodness, what did I do with my, there it is. Because I'm going to end up, so I've got my VersaFine Black Onyx ink. Um, and then I'm going to also use uh, embossing, and I'm going to emboss it. to just color in the leaf and the butterfly and I think I'm just going to use my Sorrento watercolor um, markers here because I love them so much they make me so very happy okay I like it all right. All righty then. Now what I want to do is I have this butterfly stamp. So I'm going to put that over to the side. And I'm going to get a piece of a scrap of the watercolor paper. And... Just stamp the butterfly with the Versa, my um, Versa Fine ink, Black Onyx, and then I'm going to emboss it just like I did with this stamp. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my Sorrento, Santoro rather, watercolors. Okay, so I've fussy cut the um, butterfly out. I'm just going to have to redo his antennas, but that's fine. Okay, now let's move back to this guy here. Actually, let me just trim off these excess pieces. Now what I want to do is, actually, I want my gesso, I think. I'm going to use some of my white gesso and just a baby wipe. Like I normally do and I'm just gonna wipe it on here to kind of just to knock back all that darkness that went on here all right let me dry that okay so this is dry so now I want to put some color on it and I've got some pinks and yellows I think I want to use Kind of brighten it up. This is um, bright pink, and then I got pink blossom that I think I want to use. And I've also got bright yellow or light yellow, light yellow. And then I have baby pink. So I have all of these. So I'm going to take the um, baby wipe and just put on a wash of this on here. Oh, uh, not yet. I won't splatter yet, but I will. Let me dry this, though. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got picked raspberry and mustard seed, my distressed inks, and I'm just going to use the same stamps that I used earlier and just stamp them on here. Now I will splatter. I'm going to use this yellow. I think. This. And what I'm going to do after it's dry is I'm going to run it through my scan and cut. And I'm going to cut out an oval shape out of this. Okay. So it's got to be really good and dried. So. I will do that, and once I get the oval shape cut out, I will be right back. Okay, so I've got it cut out, not as well as what I, oh my gosh, not as well as what I'd hoped. But I'm going to go with my pink raspberry here, and kind of just Mush it around. I'm also going to go with my mustard seed. Okay. Now I'm going to use my matte medium again and go. Try to fix where this got mangled. So this is my layer. Step number three. Two was, no, this is number two actually layer, sorry. All right, let me dry this. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm taking my black ink and I'm just going around the inside here because I want to make kind of a border. I'll hit this out here too. All right. my fabric tack and I'm gonna glue this layer on so that's number two layer just wish that oval would have cut out better. Probably need to get some oval dyes. That would have probably worked better. All right. And now I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm actually going to get a foam piece of foam tape. All right, and I'm going to put the butterfly right here. And take my Sharpie. This one. And making some antennas down here. Okay. All right. Now, let's move on to the last step. And Okay, now on to the last step, and that is mix. So I'm going to take some of um, my gloss gel, not too much of it, and I'm going to mix in with it pink glitter. I like this look.
Okay, and then I'm going to take my stencil. Okay, and then I'm going to take my stencil and I'm just going to use this polka dot one. And I'm just going to smush some polka dots on. Now I'm going to go again around the edge. Oh, with nothing. <laughs> with my black ink. Just to set it. And there it is. There is my cutie patootie little ATC for the month. Alright, y'all. I think it came out cute. I'm not crazy about the way the oval looked, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can't scrape that part off over the wording. All right. So there it is. Isn't it cute? I love it. All right, y'all. That's it for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to just get your stuff out and just to play. Play, play, play. And just keep going. Even if you think it's not going to turn out too good, it might surprise you. I think it turned out cute. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.